Good morning, Vancouver, Canada. And we have an absolutely beautiful day here today. I have to hit the road. We are currently staying at the Fairmont Hotel Vancouver, and it is required that you wear a mask in all common areas. Bye, wifey. Love you guys. Bye, Bye kiddo. See you later. Bye, Presley. And you guys are coming with me. Going down. Now, Dave is downstairs waiting by the cars. I have the Murcia Lago, Dave Squadra Corsa, and we have a pretty exciting day ahead of us. I think we're gonna try to see if we can't tune the P1. That might be a really good, that also might be a really bad idea. Good morning. Good morning, sir, how are you? I'm good. Purple princess is here. The, 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 it's not purple, it's fuchsia, fuchsia. 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 We gotta start these things up, which are very loud in this environment. Like a glorified luxury tunnel. We're gonna hit the road, we're gonna have some fun. Time to go. Oh my god, they're so loud. Italians. Bless those people's hearts for the V12. Oh, what an amazing car to drive. I'm telling you guys, if I could give you the key to the Mercia Lago and you knew how to drive manual, put you behind the wheel of this thing and you would fall in love with it instantly. My favorite is the downshifts when you rev match. Whoop, whoop. We're Ankle. back at SR. We're here, we're gonna grab the car, you guys. We're gonna go for a little cruise and we're gonna see what it's gonna take to modify a McLaren P1. Dare I even say that? <laughs> Hello, Phil, how are you, sir? Good, how are you, Damon? I'm amazing. Car here, good yeah, to go? Yeah, there you go. Oh, Here's my man. Car. Thank you very much. Oh. We're gonna go for a little rip. Raymond around? He's in his personal office. Oh. Raymond's in his personal office. You know what anybody's personal office is. That's right. All right, you guys, what do you think, Dave, it's gonna cost to modify a McLaren P1? What modification talking about? What could we do? We could see if we could do a wheel upgrade. We could do a power upgrade. So let's just get this out of the way. To all the tuners out there that tune Huracans or 720s. No offense, that is not a P1. It is not a hypercar. This car has electric assisted technology incorporated with the motor. It all works seamlessly together. I'm gonna take this car. The only person who's gonna work on this car and upgrade it will be McLaren. Now, I know McLaren has MSO, McLaren Special Operations, which means that department of McLaren will do almost anything you want. $500,000 paint job if you really wanted to. I know a bunch of cars that have $100,000, $200,000 paint jobs. My friend, Jeff has a McLaren Senna that has a $200,000 paint job on the Merlin. That's that one we drove out yeah. in Monterey during car week. And this car has what's called McLaren's whitest white. Now, I know you're not gonna notice it right away on the camera, but this car has a blue pearl tint to it and you would almost not even believe it unless you saw it in person. Do you guys see it there? Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Rolling art. Now, this car to us is an investment. That's right, this car will not be doing some of the dumb stuff I've done in the past. It will not be driven off-road like I did with my Gyarado. This will not be driven at the Hoonigan Burnyard. So I'm sorry to let some of you down. If you spent a couple million dollars, you too would want to protect your investment. However, we are gonna do all the fun hypercar things you would do in a hypercar. How fast do you think this car goes? Like 230? 217 miles an hour. This car has the potential to do a lot of fun things. We can make it look even crazier. I'm gonna inquire about a couple of major modifications. I'm gonna inquire about, shout out to our friend Manny Koshabin. He has a carbon fiber body, which you can upgrade from McLaren. We're gonna find out how much the carbon fiber body upgrade is gonna cost us, how long it would take to get made. I also am curious, someone said, convert Convert your P1 to a McLaren P1 GTR. I don't think that's possible. I could be wrong, but here's my theory as to why I don't think you could upgrade this car. This is a street chassis. The McLaren P1 GTR is a different, I believe, race chassis. It's completely different. The way that the wing is mounted, you would have to get rid of all of this hydraulics. And I'm pretty sure the hydraulics for this wing are interconnected to the hydraulic suspension. There's no way to like wing delete this and then put the chassis mounted wing on. Again, I could be wrong. Maybe like endless amounts of money that I don't have could all make it happen. But why don't we fire the P1 up? Can't go wrong with the sound of a P1 startup. Get 
fuel because we are completely out of fuel. How Check much it's going to cost to fill up human flow fuel? I assume it's got a very small tank. And it's a hybrid as well. MP412C, we had a small tank. Hold on. For, look at the carbon. The light's on so it. So ridiculous. Hold on. Carbon. Chassis. Carbon. All this carbon here. Dave, there's all where Dave carbon. sits. All the carbon up there. This is absolutely crazy. The engineering to build this car. Look at it. The whole door panel. By the way, fun trick. P1 doors, after they get right around here, are pretty heavy. And it basically closes itself. All right, guys, you're coming with us. We're going for the first fill up. We're out of gas. First fill up of the P1. We might be in luck that this thing runs on electric only. We might have to figure that out. I read somewhere. Eight mile range on the electric motor. Really? There's one electric motor that replaces the starter. Eight miles? Eight mile. Great That's no movie. Joke. That's not bad. Eight miles is a legit long time, so. Oh, we'll make it then. I don't know how you turn it. Let's figure this out, you guys. How to turn it from gas to electric. Uh, Right here. E mode? Oh, hold on, you guys. Damon just found it. E mode. Right by the start stop and the E mode, we're good. Try not to bottom out a P1 going over, over the, the tracks. Uh, uh, uh. How's it feel, boss man? This sounds amazing. Listen to this. Listen to these turbos spool. You hear the spooling, but I also wonder if you hear a little bit of the electric motor. I think some you of do. the wine. A bit of both. It's a dream to have this. Yep. Can we make this thing faster? Is there an upgrade? We can definitely get the body. How much do you think the carbon fiber body is? $500,000. I don't know, I'm just gonna throw a huge number out there. We're going for the diesel, I mean 87, I mean 94 octane. Ooh. I'm curious how much this is gonna cost. I think 65, $69. <laughs> of course you would. You guys, what are your guesses right now? Remember, we're in Canada. If you're thinking 69 US dollars, it's like a hundred dollars. I'm gonna go with a hundred dollars. 101, 101. All right, let's do this. Did I pull up on the wrong side? Uh, yeah, it's on this side. Okay. No. I'll turn around and say. No, 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 hold on. Oh, actually, you know where the gas thing is. It's probably on this side. It's not on this side. On the other side, already. It's not on the other side, dude. Look, this is not bull. I can't find the gas cap. There's no things. I legit can't find the gas cap. Do you see? Do you, <laughs> sir, do you see it? Is there a button? Button for what? So embarrassing. Hey, it's Damon. Where's the gas cap on the P1? <laughs> it's on the roof, you peasant. What do you mean it's on the roof? I've been standing here for 10 minutes. With me right now. Where's the gas cap? Oh! Oh! I've been here so long. I got the guy Chevron talking to me inside, telling me I have to put the gas thing back because I've been standing here too long. I, my fuel has been canceled. <laughs> this is the most embarrassing moment ever owning a P1. All right. Okay. Okay. Did you find it? I, I found it. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. No worries, buddy. Bye bye. Oh boy. The best part, bro, they're calling their first name through there, so they recognize you. They're like, Damon, put the gas pump back. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, after the gas goes in the P1, in case you didn't know, I'm like, ah. Real funny, I've been here for 10 minutes. Stop messing with me. He's like, no, push the panel in like you would on a gas cap, and it pops up. The other side pops up too, apparently. Go have a look. I don't know what's under there. Maybe that's a storage luggage. What's under that one? Uh, oil. You put oil in the roof. Oil right there. Oh my gosh. No, again, look at all the carbon though. Oh, raw carbon. All right, let's try this again. Can you imagine I get all flustered and now I put like diesel in it? This is the weirdest place I've ever put gas in a car before. Look at this. What the heck? Have you ever seen anything like this? No. You know what's funny? Now that I come to think of it, I've never seen a picture of a P1 at a gas station. No idea it went in the in the top. It's 69 bucks. We just passed. Stopped right. Oh, just passed $69. This thing was right out. I said 101. It might even take more. I don't know. Maybe it's got a bigger gas tank than all. That's it. Dead empty. P1 takes $76.21 with the current gas prices here in Canada. Sounds like 50 ish USD. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, taking this out sketches me out. I 
I've honestly never been so stressed out from putting gas in a vehicle. You know, I wonder what motivated them to do this. Because race car. Because race car. That makes sense. I got water and a protein shake. I'm worried about your health, bro. Worried about your health. Core power. 26 grams of protein for the gun show. I just noticed something really cool. Probably one of my favorite features of the McLaren. It's not the carbon fiber. It's not the 900 horsepower. It's not the electric motors. It's right here. Yeah, there's a couple over there. Explain that Lamborghini. The first gas up in the P1 was, uh, I wouldn't say it was a huge success. <laughs> it's got a small tank. <laughs> Those visceral noises this thing makes. Wall foul. Wall foul was the best part. Who wants to go for a ride in the P1? Hey, you leave a comment if you would like to go for a ride with me behind the wheel of the P1. Or me. Just a little cruise. It's actually pretty cool how daily drivable this car really is. Easy we're, storage, cup holders. We're about to find out because we're about to take it through a drive-thru. Where are you taking us? McDonald's drive-thru. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, oh, oh sh**. We have reverse lights. Hold on. Stay there. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna hire some flake people to walk around us. Hello. Can I get two of the grilled chicken burgers? What do you think we get first? Body modification? Well, if there's software available, that's easier and faster. If it's a body modification, it probably needs to ship things from England because they don't really stock P1 parts that are in Vancouver, do they? Oh, it definitely come from England. Find don't out. go anywhere. There's by so the, many things happening in this by the way, right now. We're in a P1 right now. Look at what's in, look at look at where we're at. We're in a narrow drive-through. Jeez. This is a first. Do you have your wallet, by and the you way? Guys I wonder, my wallet. Yeah, I, got a wallet. I can't afford lunch. And you guys wonder why I'm not driving. There's a reason. I don't need the stress in my life. I already have no hair. Give me a break. Boom. There's your car back, sir. Yeah, this probably doesn't work anymore. Thank you. Have a good day. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. You know what this feels like driving the P1 right now in this busy, crazy place? Oh. Drove her daughter home from the hospital when she was born. And in her oh. car, their baby for the first time. You're scared of everything around you. It's a lot like that. Yes. But, you know, like, drive that fast, but, you know, maybe he did. Oh! Huh! This is a great car. So sharp. Oh, oh. This garbage truck literally hot garbage on a summer day. All the sights and sounds and smells of the city. Oh man, it's so gross. Oh. It's a stiff chassis, I say. Yeah. Quite stiff, the chassis. Boys, time to eat. Race mode. Now we have a picnic table. <laughs> this is all PPF, by the way. You can see it. So it's all protected. So not going to hurt the paint whatsoever. David. Thank you, sir. Chicken sandwiches. My very first P1 lunch box on the table. Get in there. Look at this. It's all fancy like that. Look at this. Look at this, I'm gonna open yours up. This might be, I'm just saying, this might be a photo op. It's not official, it's not official yet. So I gotta get all the reg done and switched over, but I have something really cool I wanna show you guys. Got the plate for this car. Yeah, I think it's a good one. <laughs> Ah, that's amazing. Let's just jump back in the Lambos, rip to downtown Vancouver, drive through the mayhem, get to McLaren, and let's see what we can get for this bad boy. Carbon body would be pretty sick. We are here at McLaren. I got you a matching P1, Dave, just for you, bro. I know you were feeling left out. Is it MSO color? Just joking. It's an MSO. It's a uh, volcano yellow. Whoa. We got 600 LT here. We got a scent over in the corner. Yeah, that's a pretty sick spec. Well, you know, every time we go somewhere, you gotta buy you gotta buy the merch. I think from now on, whenever we go to a dealership, put on the merch. This one really suits me okay, too. Okay, I'll tell you this. I'm a big vest You're guy. You're not a vest guy. Yeah, I'm a vest guy. I wonder if anybody did a baby blue P1. 
Hey Wilson, how are you? How's it going? Good. You Is that what all the cool kids are doing? Leaving the tags on? Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting that trend. You guys at home do the same thing. What modifications can we do to a P1? MSO carbon fiber body kit. I yes. heard a guy did that once. Yeah. Can you do anything as far as like exhaust tuning? Yes and no. Yes and no. <laughs> Officially, unofficially. Now there's some customer asks, I wouldn't use the word crazy. I just say obsess as to convert a P1 into like a P1 GTR. Can you do that? Street legal. Everything is possible with McLaren as long as you talk to MSO. The P1 has a hydraulic wing. So what, you wing delete it and put a new panel on and put the chassis mounted wing and... Yeah. Yeah. If you want... That sounds cheap, Dave. You in for that? Nope. Nope. <laughs> You're taking away some a cool feature with the hydraulic yeah. Uh, active rear spoiler and make it a permanently mounted spoiler. How, mu how right. much is a P1 GTR on the low end going for right now? I think five million. Five million. If I'm US. If That's I'm a little right. bit more than what we paid for a P1. You can do full body, full, like all the panels can be removed and you can get a carbon body. Absolutely. Couldn't yeah. we just ship the body panels over here and whip it up in the back? I, my feeling is as a car of that value, you're probably better sending it back. Send it back, air freight back. Now, what is the cost? That's really the more important question. Well, we've never done one, but I've heard rumors of 250,000 euros. Oh, euro. Oh, okay. Oh, Dave, euros. Dave, exchange rate, exchange rate. Get, get out the phone. What does it take to modify hey, a P1? Oh, hey, Siri, me again. <laughs> How much in USD is 250,000 euros? 296,103 US dollars and 30 cents. 300 grand. 30 cents? <laughs> Can't round it up for me? Plus tax. $300,000 just US. for the body panel. What's the cost to ship a car by air to the UK? Probably Great eight, UK. Probably eight to ten thousand dollars one way because of all that. the insurance. All the people who have DM'd me or sent me messages about tuning the P1 or building us an exhaust, this is why we're not letting anybody but McLaren do it. You were here with us. We got the good news and the bad news. The good news is, yes, we can get a carbon fiber body kit. The bad news is, how much merch do you think we need to sell in order to afford a $300,000 upgrade on one car? Everybody watching right now bought a keychain or a lanyard. You can maybe make that work. Everybody. Every single person watching this video. No pressure, shopdd.com, pick up some merch. And that's where we're gonna leave that for now. In the meantime, I think we're gonna have to settle for what? A funky livery for some bright colors. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thanks for watching today's video, you guys. Smash that subscribe button. And like I said, no joke. If we sell enough merch, I will buy whatever you guys choose for mods on the McLaren P1. It'll all be done properly, though, tastefully through McLaren Automotive. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. I have an idea, actually. For the next video, we're gonna give away a car. Next video. We're next gonna give video? away next, next video, we're gonna give away a car. So we're gonna give away a car. No bull. Yep. Next video, guys, stay tuned. Set the that was notification random. bell. Ding! Peace. There's a one way street. People do not know how to drive. What? What is going on? <laughs> yep. Get it turned around. Wow. Welcome to the city.